Alright, so how's it going everybody? Hopefully you can hear me. It's the first time I'm attempting this. And, uh, so yeah, as you mostly know, is that one right there? Like right there, that thing in the water. I don't want to get close enough to find out. Maybe... I don't know, that was the one thing I was going to explain. So, recently, most of you know, I, uh, I moved, and I'm still in, like, Jupiter or whatever, but, uh, yeah, where I moved to, there's, like, a bunch of mangroves and stuff, like this, and I haven't really ever fished anything, I think that's just a rock, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, where I am, it's, like, uh, Jonathan Dickinson, sort of pretty close by. So the one thing that freaks me out kind of about fishing here is alligators. And I don't think that is one, but it definitely looked like one at first. Because, I mean, I've lived here all my life, but I've never dealt with alligators until like three months ago. <laughs> but I don't know, all this looks like pretty promising, like fish-wise. But I haven't seen anything. I know the water is pretty mullet. There's, uh, the water's pretty, like, I guess it's more fresh than salt, but it's still brackish or whatever. I've seen lots of mullet and stuff, and I've heard there's supposed to be tarpon and, um, I think, like, redfish and definitely snook and stuff, but I don't know. So I'm going to be trying to figure out how to catch fish out here, because I've never, like, I don't even think I've ever really fished mangroves before. But yes, I got the young kayak and still using my go-to Yozuri. I don't even know if that's good for this kind of area or not. That was a bad cast. First cast in a little bit. But yeah, I don't know. I figured I'd go do some kayaking around. Then uh, maybe cast a little bit. I haven't really been fishing at all. Mostly just still getting our house settled and everything. That's the last time I went fishing was at Wahoo. But, I don't know, when I went down to the Keys, I had got a Go, another GoPro before, so I got a GoPro mounted on the front, and depending on, well, I guess you can see where, and then on my head. But I'm hoping to, like, tie the videos together to make some cool angles. Hopefully, my, uh, chicken wing legs don't offend you or I guess that's what I got hopefully you can't see in my pants that'd be awkward um but yeah I haven't really been uh doing any fishing I want to I wanted to get up to the inlet because I guess it's October now so I guess for a month I've been wanting to get up to the inlet for snook season started. And uh would have liked to have caught a snook, but I don't know. Hasn't really been any I mean I guess it's been some cool fronts coming through. That's usually but it hasn't really been cold. So I think the snook might still be there. It's like right when it starts getting cold is when uh the snook and the inlet start leaving. Which maybe that's a good thing, because maybe that'll push them up into this area. It's like, I didn't even take my boat back to the inlet from my house, but that in there? my neighbor said it's going to take like 30 minutes to go to the inlet. So that's a little bit of a change. <laughs> Going from literally 30 seconds to being out the inlet, 30 minutes. Probably even be long. Well, actually, no, there's like a railroad bridge in the way, which I'm sure I don't know. I, I think there's like a bunch of subscriber people that are from around this area, so you probably know all the things I'm talking about. I didn't want to get that close, damn it. There's like a railroad bridge in the way, but if I put my bimini top of my boat down, I can make it make it under, and uh, I guess that all aboard Florida thing everyone hates. I don't even really know what it's about. 
From what I understood, it's shipping companies wanting to pass. From what I heard, they're going to be doing like work on the Panama Canal. So all the shipping companies want to start going more to like Miami and stuff. So they're going to be wanting to bring down more trains, but they're trying to pass it off like it's for people. Do people even really use trains anymore? I know they got that tri-rail. I haven't used it. Man, it is really windy. Like, look how fat, like, I'm not even paddling. I'm like, falling ass. I don't know, my one buddy was telling me I should be using, like, shrimps and stuff. Like, this is just one part of it, so I can, like, go through the intercoastal here. Like, I live over on this side, and then this is, like, a whole other side. And I think that way, well, I don't think, I know that way is to get back to, like, the regular intercoastal towards the inlet. Then if I go that way, well, I gotta go that way around. And that goes back up into Jonathan Dickinson, which is pretty cool. There's a lot more alligators back there. I took my boat back there almost all the way to, well, no, we went to Trapper Nelson, and then it got, uh, my boat was too big to get through there. So we can't, oh, was that a bite? I don't know if something hit it, or there was like a stick underwater, but something pulled back. One thing that worries me is if I do catch a fish and I'm like here to like bring it in, what's stopping an alligator from following it? Which I mean the ones I've seen, like, they just swim and then you get close if you have to and they uh they swim away. I don't really care if they're doing that. I just don't want to get done eating. Yeah, I stopped that. Out. Okay, this is so annoying. <laughs> it's like there's wind and then there's not wind. But we were supposed to go alligator hunting. My friend got the permit. But then he didn't follow up on it and lost the permit. So that's my cool story. That would have been pretty cool. Right, I'll probably make like more videos uh, going back into like John and Dickinson or whatever. But today I just kind of wanted to kayak around a little bit. Toss the line. Like, I don't know, like, to me, these all look like really good fishing spots. But, like, five or six times I've tried fishing. I've only gotten like a couple of bites. I mean, my neighbors are saying there's like river otters and stuff around here. And I've seen a bunch of those. I guess they're freshwater turtles. 
And like around my dock, it looks like. That's what happens when you're missing a guide. Like around my dock, it looks like a bunch of like freshwater fish. I don't think there's like bass or anything. I don't think there's like bass, but who knows? Yeah, I guess there's like this whole new area for me to explore. But there's damn alligators. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I kayaked over one once because I went over one and there was like a huge splash right behind me. And I was like, oops. As long as they don't bother me, they can do whatever the hell they want. Right. Oh, there's an alligator right there. <laughs> it just went under. Like right where there's like that slick. I don't even know if that would come out on the camera or not, but... That was like, like... Left like a little wake. I still have no idea on how to tell, like, the size. I know it's supposed to be if you could like see their nose and their eyes. Dude, you better move. I'll have the right away here. I am moving. No! Oh, thank God. Alright, asshole. Yep, told you I wanted to move. to be an Instagram picture. There, happy? You're all in the Instagram. Which, by the way, is Jupiter sailfish. Usually, I post up a bunch of cool fish stuff. Well, whenever I go fishing, I do. <laughs> so that gives you a little bit of a heads up on when Something fishing is gonna happen, but I think I'm gonna probably post this up. I don't know what the, what the hell's today. Sick. Probably post it up later today. Well, the video, I mean, but yeah. Twitter's Jupiter Sailfish, also. That's a lot easier to talk to, I think. Because most of the. I try to reply to like all the YouTube comments, but uh, I don't know, I've been having a lot of problems with the YouTube comments that like won't let me reply to the comment, so I gotta send whoever a message, which isn't the biggest deal ever, but I know Twitter works pretty well. These two spots look really good to me because there's water flowing through, which on the other side of here is how you get into Jonathan Dickinson, but there's like so much water flowing through here. bunch of fish just chilling on the outside. Oh, maybe I should use a different, I don't think. 
thought I had a black Yazuri somewhere, which would sort of make more sense with how dark this water is. All the fish would be darker. This one's like green. Which is good for the inlet. Because with high tide, all the baits are in the clear water, so they're blue and green. But here, I'd imagine they'd be black or like dark brown or something. Which might be my problem. I thought that was going to go a lot further, but... Oh, that was a snow! Damn it! Alright. That's all I needed to see. There's snook here. Okay. Followed it right up to where I took it out of the water and then turned away. I mean, it was probably, like, that big, but... Yeah, I'm gonna probably head back now. Like, actually, this time. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, thank you for watching. If, uh, any of you know or have any favorite lures or anything about fishing mangroves, if you guys have done that, because I really have it. And I'm figuring I need, like, dark colored lures. And I think my friend was telling me some, like, I don't know what to call them, like soft plastic baits I guess it would be, but I've never really used that ever, but uh, yeah, if any of you have any like advice with that, leave it in a comment or whatever, or like I said on my Twitter, that's like a little bit easier, because I know I can reply back, <laughs> YouTube, it's 50-50 on whether it lets me or not, but uh, yeah, all that stuff's in the description of the video like my Instagram and Twitter, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I plan on doing more of this, because I mean, why not? And I don't know what other kind of fishing stuff I'm going to be doing coming up. I might be going down to the Keys again, uh, hopefully soon. I think maybe Island Marauder this time. I might go down with my mom for a couple of days, and I want to kind of like rent a boat, because I mean, there's definitely a bunch of charter people down in the Keys. But I like doing everything myself. So maybe I'll be doing that soon. And then whenever I get out fishing around here, I guess, well, October is going to start. Once those cold fronts start coming, hopefully we get in some uh, sailfish weather. And then uh, I don't know really what else. Whatever I can catch back here. I guess wintertime, from what I understood, isn't. I think it's not good for fishing back here, kind of. Unless the fish come back here more because it's shallower water and stuff, so it's warmer. But who knows? We'll figure that out. But yeah, as always, hopefully you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching.